The first step to waxing a car, whether by hand or with machine, is to wash the car thoroughly. I wash the car in a traditional sense and then also with a clay bar mitt. I have grown pretty fond of the clay bar mitt and if there's interest, leave a comment below and maybe I'll do a review on that also. The next step is to unpack your orbital polisher. I drew lines on the rotating portion of the head so that I can tell when it's moving. Uh, the reason you do this is if you apply too much pressure, the head stops moving and then obviously it's no longer performing random orbitals. So by drawing lines on it, I know when it's moving and when it's not moving and how much pressure to apply. Uh, take note of the yellow speed adjuster on the back and also the on-off switch on the bottom. The next step is to put the desired pad on the Velcro backing and then apply the wax using five dime-ish sized dots in an X shape. After the wax is applied, dab it onto the vehicle. Again, you're going to apply five dots worth of uh, wax in some type of X. And then when you dab the car, you want to dab roughly a couple foot section, whatever you're comfortable with working. Step four is to wax the car. Be sure to put the orbital polisher on the vehicle before turning it on. Use settings one or two for waxes and polishes. Use a circular motion to wax the car and ensure that the polishing head rotates. If the polishing head is not rotating, apply less pressure. Be sure to turn off the polisher before lifting it up off the vehicle. The goal here is to achieve a thin, even coat uh, over the area where you originally put the dots. When that has been achieved, turn off the orbital polisher then lift it off the car. The next step is to wait. Uh, this usually depends on your wax manufacturer, but anywhere from a couple minutes up to 10 minutes, and the wax will become hazy and then you can wipe it off. Again, the goal here is to remove all the wax that you just laid down over the certain area. This is the car before the traditional wash, clay bar wipe down, and then wax. This is the car after the traditional wash, clay bar mitt, and then wax. And here's what everyone really wants to see anyway, the side-by-side -side comparison, before and after. I think there's a pretty big difference between the sheen on the left and the sheen on the right. Overall, I really like this random orbital polisher. Um, I would recommend it for anyone who is a hobbyist and is going to do a couple waxings a year at least. Um, the reason I say that is anything less than that, it's probably not worth storing and keeping in your, in your garage. Just pay to have your car detailed and anything um, more than probably about 10, maybe 15, uh, you may want to get some type of higher grade professional piece of equipment. I don't really have anything bad to say about this instrument. Uh, it will generate some heat, and for whatever reason, uh, I continued to put my rear hand over the venting at the back of the machine. Uh, again, a professional who's doing this double digit times a year may want something a little bit more powerful, but for the hobbyist, I think this is perfect.